Our first step is going to be to prep the window framed opening with flashings and we are using um, peel and stick self-healing flashings here and the reason we're doing this is ultimately when we install our window we're going to have numerous fastener penetrations going through everything into the framing when we install our J-metal and our siding there's a lot of potential holes all the way around this window opening so a regular non-self-healing type tape is, is a worse choice if you're in rainy country where you pretty much expect water to get in. Um, you guys are working with a nine inch flex wrap. We only had six inch here in the lab so my flex wrap won't extend in as far. I'm just going to double it up. The other thing is um, we didn't have six inch Tyvek straight flash so we used Vicor Plus. Uh, in any case uh, it'll work just fine. The main thing is with, with these as self-adhering flashings that they're installed at the right temperature and they are pressure sensitive. I can't stress that enough. So once they're installed, work them over really well with the J-roller. So step one, for clarification, I've drawn a line here at two inches for the side flashing and two inches for where the sill flashing should stop. Um, it doesn't have to be a line. It's just as long as whoever's installing it knows where they need to keep their flashing on the outside edge. The nine inch flex wrap is likely going to be a split release liner that will make your install potentially easier than mine. In my case, um, especially on big windows, I actually like to mark a center line on the tape and have a visual center line on the plywood in the sill so that when I'm getting ready to set this, I can just set it right there on the center line and work my way either way. There's Lots of ways to do this. This is just what I found works for me in this case. Um, we'll peel this. So, like I said, you guys will have a better split release and that'll make it easier. So I'm essentially gonna line up to a mark on the inside here. And that tells me how far I need to go. Try to get everything nice and parallel. Just like that. My, I like to pre-cut all my flashings ahead of time so I don't have to think about it. It's all ready to go. Um, especially if you've got a whole series of windows where the openings are the same size. Figure out at the first window what your flashing sizes need to be. You can gang cut all your flashings and it makes the process more efficient. Um, we typically don't want to see the sill flashing go up too much higher than maybe an inch or two here. I would say keep it down to an inch. This is a one-off on this video, so obviously I cut it a little long. Ideally, we'd be we'd be at about one inch there. You see the literature, and they always want you to run your sill flashing up, you know, six inches or something like that. What we've seen is that stresses the flex wrap joint here. We feel it's better to keep that short. It makes for an easier install and I think also a more durable install. So now that I've got this guy down here, I can just work my corner in. So, 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 so now we've got our sill. It's nice. Sometimes to have a block of wood that makes the corner nice and crisp and gives you good pressure bonding in the corner. If you're using a, uh, a J roller, obviously you're not going to get quite in the corner, and the corner is a place we want really good adhesion. J roller reaches everything else pretty easily. Like I said, in order to simulate the nine inch flashing you're working with, I'm gonna add another piece here to get me into that window opening, the desired seven inches. So we've got, just to cover it again, 
about two inches down and seven inches in for that uh, nine inch flex wrap. Our next step is gonna be the side flashings.